Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll show you the performance and uh, working of the Resurrection Remix ROM, which is the 4.0.7, the latest version of this ROM. I have installed the Android 4.2.2 uh, Resurrection ROM, uh, which is on the 4.0.5 version. And when I have installed it, uh, it just uh, updated its, uh, it himself uh, by OTA update by using Wi Fi. And now I, I have my latest version. So first of all we have a nice lock screen. We have the standard Android 4.2.2 uh, features. We can slide here to add widgets. And also we can go to camera here. Camera is working good. No problems whatsoever. So let me show you here. About phone. So this is Android 4.2.2, and this is the Resurrection Remix ROM, which is 4.0.7. Let me show you again here. About phone, and there we go is the version 4.0.7 so so in terms of performance it is very much stable no problems whatsoever battery life is also good and it comes with a lot of features here so first thing is the P black here which is theme and as you can see you can switch off here the first thing you notice is the tablet UI here which is pretty nice and you can turn it off and now I have standard color settings on the Android 4.2 USB ROM that you see on a lot of ROMs. But if you turn on here, we have a nice theme here, and also we have these animations. So these are resolution tools. So we have our full ROM control. We have the journal UI. And here you can change the custom boot animation, you can disable boot animation, you can have your custom carrier label as I have uh, mine, uh, it's not showing, it's, here you go, it's ZTEC care here, as you can see, this is my custom carrier logo. So, so far the performance is nice and everything, we have the notification background, as you can see I have my notification background, this can have notification background which is very nice and I have Pi controls too so vibrate and explain a lot of options here you can check that out and we have also the Pi controls like I'm doing right now and also we have lock screens we can expand lock screen we can have the lock screen battery percentage and we can allow lock screen rotation which I have turned on you can see uh, and also we have the navigation ring a lot of features a lot of tweaks we have the toggles you can change the toggles up here uh, on the phone and you have a toggle style and toggle per row I can change the number of toggles also we have the soft key options uh, I have uh, the I have enabled the light it disabled the light of my soft keys as you can see no lights it is very nice for uh, conserving your battery life. We have PA Hybrid, which is paranoid and our setting. You can have the tablet UI, uh, you can have tablet UI. So that's pretty much amazing. And we have uh, uh, paranoid Android Hello, uh, and also we have the paranoid hybrid settings. So this was the full uh, complete ROM control of the phone. And also we have the theme chooser. And we have here the lot of lot of settings, uh, but uh, so in terms of performance, it is very nice. No lags, everything works great. And also, I have Chrome. The web browser is working great. No lag whatsoever. Turn off, turn on my Wi-Fi. So let me show you here. Let's open a website, uh, Google. 
uh, google.com so web is working good zooming in it's pretty much fast here no lag whatsoever so I have also installed a bunch of games here we have FIFA 12 and we have YouTube latest version we have, have app killer here which is very nice you can download it from the Play Store and also let's check out the gallery so this is my gallery here I have a lot of photos as you can see the photos are working and only one thing is not working in this ROM uh, which is the editing because during the editing the gallery stopped working as you can and I'm gonna show you here like I have a picture of my iPhone 5 here so I'm gonna do it so once I've edited I save it click on save picture to camera Sometimes it's worse and sometimes it's not working. Right now it's working. I don't know how it's working because I've tried two times before and it just crashed. And maybe there's some more settings. And so let's save here. As you can see, this is unfortunately the process com that Android Gallery 3D has stopped. Okay, so this is the only problem found in this ROM, and you can download uh, the alternatives to this ROM. You can download a lot of uh, other uh, uh, editors from the uh, Play Store, and also. So far this ROM is stable and this doesn't support uh, the overclock. Uh, we have default 1.2 GHz running. And let me show you my battery life. So here we go, we have our battery. And 2 hours, 59 minutes, 18 seconds on screen. I played FIFA, third, uh, FIFA 12 a little bit and since last jar so in terms of battery life this phone is uh, i think is this rom is very nice for your galaxy s2 and let's check out the camera here so in terms of camera it's also working great no lag and swipe right to have your photos and nothing problem whatsoever the only problem is the uh, gallery stop during the editing and you can download the alternative from the play store so that will be no more problem so yeah thanks for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe our more I'll make more videos like this and also check out my channel for other videos. Yeah, peace out.